Well, hey, all artist friends. Welcome back to Miss Raga's Art Room. Here we are. Time to do a little boxes warm up. If you've got your cube with you, our practice cube that we created together for understanding some of these vocab terms, awesome. Make sure you got it. Okay. Um, if you don't have it, no worries. I got one. You can just see what I'm doing up here on uh, on our video screen. All right. First things first. Make sure you got your equipment. Pencil. Mechanical pencil works awesome for doing the contour line of the perspective. Ruler, and of course your box if you got it. Okay, first things first, name on the sheet. And this is my sample, but of course you'll put whatever period block, etc. you belong to. Okay, now we're gonna take our ruler. We're gonna first create that parallel horizon line to the bottom edge of the paper. We're also gonna take some notes on this sheet too to help us further ingrain some of those concepts about perspective into our brains. Excellent. Okay, so there's my horizon line. Let's also include our two vanishing points, and I mean actual points. So put a dot at the end of your line, and on the left-hand side of your paper, please call that vanishing point A. On the right-hand side of your paper, dot again, vanishing point B, VPB. Okay, first note I want you to take for yourself is this. Give yourself a little arrow. I'm going to rotate my paper. Okay, I'm going to, I should probably zoom in too. Let's see if I can do that. Can I zoom in? I can. Check that out. Okay, here we go. So zoomed in. Horizon line equals eye level equals you slash me exclamation point smiley face, right? What I want everybody to understand is in this drawing, you are represented by the horizon line. This is your viewpoint. That's what we're always discussing with perspective is not realistic drawing, but it's a drawing that is based on your relationship to this hypothetical three-dimensional space without you having to physically be there to understand it, okay? So once again, horizon line, eye level is you. This is your eye level in the drawing. That's how you're represented. All right, let's zoom back out. Zoom back out. Okay. Make sure I'm zoomed out and properly centered. Better. Okay, terrific. So first thing we're going to start with is a vertical line. And we're going to go above the horizon line. Now when we're drawing above the horizon line, okay, you're going to see the sides of the box and the bottom of the box, but never the top. Remember too from our discussion that two-point perspective is different from one-point perspective in this. One-point perspective we're looking at the face of a box, and everything is going back to one vanishing point, right? In two-point perspective, we're looking at the edge of a box or a building or whatever structure, right? And we've got two vanishing points receding in space. So it adds some complexity to it. Now, if we're above the horizon line, we're going to see two sides, like so, and the bottom, but we'll never see the top. We don't have to worry about it. And sometimes that can be confusing because your brain plays a bit of a nasty trick on you, right? It's already seen the box from 360 degrees. It already knows what it looks like. So it knows that there's a top there. It's just you can't see it in this perspective, right? Relative to where you are on the horizon line in relationship to this object. So let's first put in a vertical line above the horizon line. This is going to represent this front edge here. However tall you make this line is going to be the maximum height of your box. Everything else is going to get smaller, receding in space from, from the sides and to the back. Okay? So however we make that, that's max height. I want us to take another little note here. Give yourself an arrow. I'm going to zoom in. Zoomy, zoom, zoom. Okay. A little arrow to this. Vertical lines are always always, <laughs> my goodness, parallel to each other. Oh, can I squeeze it on? Just barely. And perpendicular to the horizon line. All right, so what I mean by that is any other vertical line I put into this drawing is going to be parallel to each other, okay? And all of these lines should be meeting at a 90 degree angle to our horizon line. Okay, let's zoom back out. 
Zoom and back out. There we go. All right. So let's draw in some fancy lines. We're going to draw in four lines that recede to the vanishing point. We're going to do one from the bottom of the line to vanishing point B. Probably should have started with vanishing point A. We'll do that next time. One from the top of the line to vanishing point B. And it's very important that you hit the vanishing point and line up to it exactly. Close enough doesn't cut it with perspective. It's kind of like math. It's either right or it's wrong. Top of the line to vanishing point A. Whew. There we go. We call these orthogonal lines. Okay, so give yourself a little note here. Lines that go to, oh, I gotta zoom in. I probably should zoom in on that. Go to the vanishing point are called orthogonals. Right, they have a specific fancy name, orthogonal lines. They're not just diagonals, orthogonals. Right, using proper vocab matters because it, it describes what's actually happening in your drawing. It's a way of communicating, right? To communicate accurately, we gotta use the proper vocab. All right now what we're gonna do is we've got kind of like, if you can imagine it, those orthogonals create infinite sides to our box, going back in space, whoa, like so, to the vanishing point. So now we need to chop off those extra ends and define the back sides or back edges of that box. So I'm gonna slide my ruler on down. You determine how wide or how narrow to make your particular box. Okay, now, and from the bottom intersection points here, because once again, if this is a box above the horizon line, we're gonna be seeing the bottom, not the top. So that's our clue is where to look for. We're gonna go from the bottom intersection point and go from intersection point to opposite side vanishing point. So if this is my intersection point on vanishing point B side, I'm gonna to go to the opposite vanishing point A and draw in an orthogonal. And these orthogonals are gonna define the bottom area of the box, you'll see it happen. Okay, and I'm gonna go from here, okay, intersection point on vanishing point A side to the opposite vanishing point, vanishing point B. Let's line it up. Cool, and we have a box. Can everybody see the defined box in space? Now what's left to do is erase our extra orthogonals we don't need. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of those extra orthogonals. Cool. Okay, let's do a box. Get myself reoriented here, there we go. Let's do a box below the horizon line. Then when we have a box below the horizon line, we're going to see sides and top, but we'll never see bottom, right? Because it's like we're looking down on it. Bird's eye perspective, worm's eye perspective. Right, we're looking down, we're looking up. So if our box is below our eye level, we're looking down on it. Remember, we are the horizon line. Anywhere below your horizon line, give yourself a vertical line that is perpendicular and to the horizon line and parallel to all other verticals. From that line, we're gonna go from bottom of the line, vanishing point A. Line up, really hold your ruler, folks. Don't let your ruler slide. Really hold your ruler in place. Use at least a couple fingers to hold the paper as well as hold the ruler so it doesn't move. Top of the line to vanishing point A. Bottom of the line to vanishing point B top of the line to vanishing point B. Those are our four orthogonals. I like to think about it this way. Until we get to letters, okay? Because then it changes a little bit, but all diagonals are orthogonals. It's not entirely true. When we get to letters, you'll see how that changes, but that's a way to remember it for at least drawing out the boxes. Diagonals are orthogonals. I guess we should say most diagonals are orthogonals. Okay, now we need to define, again, because we're looking at a down perspective here, looking down, bird's eye view. So now we need to define the back edge 
of the box. Whoop, let's get back on camera there, back edge of the box. So again, you decide how wide, whoops, or how skinny to make that box. There we go. Now because we're looking down on this box, we're gonna see the top, that's our clue to look for these intersection points at the top of the orthogonals, okay? And we're gonna go from opposite side to opposite vanishing point. So here's our intersection point on vanishing point B. We're gonna line up and draw to vanishing point A. And you'll notice the system like never really changes. It's just always, sorry about that, all a little technical difficulty with my camera. Okay, and so then we're gonna go to the top here, vanishing point A side, intersection point, cross over to the opposite vanishing point B. And you'll see those orthogonals not only draw in the top sides of the box, but where they intersect defines the back corner. What? Look at that, gorgeous. Okay, and so now we've just got to erase our extra orthogonals. Hooray. Get rid of that. Right, the reason we want to erase our extra orthogonal lines as we go, or at least the parts of the orthogonal that we don't need that don't define the box or the object we want to keep, is you can imagine, if we just keep going, we just kept building up orthogonals over orthogonals over orthogonals, our drawing would become a bit chaotic. There we go. Okay. And now finally, the last thing we're going to do is put a box directly on the horizon line. Now when I hold a box directly on the horizon line or at my eye level, I stop seeing tops or bottoms, I just see sides. So boxes on the horizon line are kind of deceptively simple. All right, here we go. Let's put a box directly on the horizon line. Have your vertical, which is parallel to all other verticals and perpendicular, meaning meeting at 90 degree angles to the horizon line, cutting straight through it, cutting straight through your eye level. Same thing, we're gonna go from bottom of the line, vanishing point B, top of the line to vanishing point B. Bottom of the line to vanishing point A, top of the line to vanishing point A. Now at this point, if you run into one of your other boxes, you can kind of like just jump your orthogonal line over it. But I still want you to line up to the vanishing points. Okay, now what we're going to do is put in those two parallel lines, which are just going to define where this box ends in space. And that's it, we don't have to worry about tops or bottoms because again, it's on our eye level, we don't see tops or bottoms. So all that's left to do is we're gonna erase where the box overlaps the horizon line. Like so, and those extra orthogonals we don't need. Careful to keep your horizon line. We still that need that to define our two planes of space our sky from our ground. All right, so here's our practice all. So artists, let's take this to, whoop, sorry, bumping into my camera there. Let's take this now to and apply it to our actual drawing. All right, see you soon. Check out my next video.